Hey guys, it's a good day because I just got something in the mail. Boom! 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 Nutra Ninja Pro! Yeah, buddy. I got a Nutra Ninja Pro. It came in the mail. It was from my job. They said, hey, you look like you could use some Nutra, some Ninja, and some Pro. So today, I'm going to make my first smoothie. I'm pretty excited. I went to the store, I got all the ingredients, and we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna get it popping. Okay, the first thing you need to do when you're making a smoothie is grab your beer mug. Today's smoothie beer is going to be Lagunitas. You wanna tilt the cup when you're pouring your beer, otherwise your smoothie's gonna turn out terrible. Okay, let's check this thing out. So, when you have a smoothie maker, you need to have the ingredients, which I bought. But this shows some examples of things you can get. You can get oranges and kiwis and pumpkins and potatoes. All right, let's check this thing out. Oh, let's see. Let's see here. Stop. Alto. And eh, give this shit. So as you can see, it comes with some cartons that you can use for later one of the mugs oh it's a blade hey that's a good blade in there um, I know this because my friend has one of these and he said it cut his hands all up and he had to get stitches that's how you know you got a good blade so let's check the box for inspiration here what do we need we need fruits and ice and photoshop boom Nutra Ninja Pro. Oh, I guess Ninja Pro. I thought the Pro stood for Proverbs. But that is nice. 900 watts. Alright, first thing you need to do when you're making a smoothie is wash your blender. I just washed the blender and I gotta say that was honestly the most boring thing I've ever done. Skip it. Okay, you should wash your fruits though. I bought some strawberries, blueberries, mangoes. I had my first ever gay experience, and I bought some kale, some baby kale. So if you're new to the world of fruit washing, you just grab a bunch of fruit, and you throw it in your paper bowl, and then you just run it under the water. Just like this. Now you're cooking like a real professional, like that awful woman Rachel Ray. Put your fruits in there. Oh shit, I still got the green stuff on here. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so after you've added God's delicious candy to the uh, thing, um, you could put Satan's toilet paper in there. There goes the kale. Ugh. I feel like any amount is too much. Is that enough to keep me healthy? Mm. So you got that. And before you put the ice in, you got one more ingredient, and that's uh, your Tropicana. See, I got some bacon there for later. Some steak too, but uh, this stuff right here is a uh, fruit and vegetable juice. Your primary goal here is to kill the flavor of this green shit. You want to pour just enough to where it's no longer healthy for you. Mm, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little more. Yeah, that shit's healthy. I could feel the health. Going through my bones already. So finally, you gotta go get your ice. Now, earlier today, I was checking my ice situation. There was a lot more than this, but uh, the ice actually had mold on it. At least I think it was mold. I didn't know ice could get moldy, but I went ahead and replaced it because I didn't think it would taste very good. Just throw some fucking ice in there. Uh oh, it says max fill. I think I put too much kale in there. Might need to get rid of some of that kale. You want to make sure your blade has enough room. So just squash that shit in there. Real good. Next step to making a smoothie is taking off this little twist tie thing. And then making sure that that yellow thing doesn't get in your way. Finally, you want to take off this plastic thing. The plug doesn't work if the plastic thing is still on there. You want to plug this into your American outlet. Hopefully that has power. 
and you gotta make sure that you put the blade on securely and then you just stick that sucker right in there it just goes right in, I don't know if you saw it's like the moment of insertion right there okay and then I believe you just uh, press on this sucker for like half an hour alright 900 watts let's do this thing hold on oh, I think I should turn it, okay 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 it's real it's real ready set go now I'd like to tell you about my second day experience last night an older gentleman approached me in a tent shop he offered me ways to make extra money on the side And that is how you make a smoothie. Final step to making a smoothie is the taste test. Potent. Not bad. I expected to taste way more baby kale. I don't taste it at all, as a matter of fact. This is a good smoothie. It's a good smoothie. And a good ninja proverbs. Or neutral ninja proverbs. Neutral ninja professional. So, uh, here's my review. My review is, you can make this ugly color with delicious taste. Have it with a Lagunitas beer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. And let me know what your favorite neutral ninja proverb is.